What's up guys and welcome to a new video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to change your clock and also how to change your um, indicator lights for shifting um, on the GSXR 600 and the GSXR 750. Um, this goes from 2000 level models to current models, so 2020 and above. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and first of all just show you how to change the clock which is very simple. So all you do is hold down your select button right here for just a couple seconds and you'll see first the hours changing right now so if you want to change that you hit the top button which is your uh, adjust or uh, <coughs> yeah I'm sorry your adjuster button so that'll change your hour and it is seven right now so then click this bottom button one more time and it's going to change your minutes and I'm not even going to mess with that because well I'll change just one minute up <laughs> not going to make too much of a difference so then if, once you're set go ahead and hit your bottom button one more time and then your uh, clock is set to where you need it to be um, usually the only time I have to deal with that is during daylight savings time so uh, alright so now we're going to get into the shifting indicator lights. Alright, so now we're going to go over the shift light indicator. Um, so hold your bottom select button down while turning the ignition on. Keep the button held down until you see these lights right here start to flash then you can let go. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you can change the, the uh, light right here, this LED shift indicator light. So what you'll do is hit this bottom button one time and then you can go through here and you'll see these go 0 through 5, 3, 4, and 5. That one being the lowest and you'll see the white light gets brighter, this light right here, as I go through there. I leave mine on 5 just so it's the brightest, easiest to see. So now what you're going to do is hit this bottom button once again. Now this right here is going to be where this, this shift indicator light turns on. So it's going to go from 7000 to 14.5 or wherever, depending on if you have a 600 or a 750. So what you do is hit this top button and it's going to move from 7000 RPMs all the way up to 14.5. <clears throat> and wherever you set this is where this light is going to come on and these lights right here are going to come on previous to that so what I do is you can press and hold down my bike being a 750 red lines right around 14.5 so what I do is I leave mine right on 14,000 so go ahead and hit that bottom button once you have it where you want it now it's going to go 250 500 and a thousand rpms right here now this is gonna select how much in advance you want each one of these lights to come on so for me I just leave it at a thousand so what that means is my shift indicator light is gonna come on at 14,000 now and if I leave it at 1,000 it's gonna come on the first yellow light is gonna come on at 11,000 the second light is gonna come on at 12,000 the third light is going to come on at 13,000 and then your shift indicator light is going to come on at 14,000 wherever you set it. Now like I said you can choose from 250, 500 to 1,000 RPMs um, increments before you get to that shift indicator light. So a lot of people don't even know that this, this bike comes with that option um, and I had the bike for probably about three weeks before I found out and there's really not that many videos out on YouTube that show you how to do this so I figured I would go and do like just a quick little video showing you guys how to do that because I've had people ask me how you do it and it's just much easier for me to make a video than it is to try to explain it through text so I uh, figured I would do that for you guys um, hope this helps some of you guys once you have this where you want it all you do is hit that bottom button one more time and now you're good to go so Alright guys, um, thanks for watching, peace, ride safe, and we'll see you in the next video, alright?